What's up, everybody? Welcome to GC Podcast. This is episode one, God in Christ. Uh, today on this episode, we're going to be going over a couple Bible verses and discussing, uh, bringing up questions that a lot of Christians, I know especially me, have on how how you're supposed to live day to day as a Christian in the modern world and what to do and what not to do and what things are sins and what things aren't sins. I think these questions are commonly overlooked as a Christian and we don't want to go down the wrong path, I think. So I think uh, today's podcast will be about questions that the common Christian might have when dealing with a conversation in day-to-day life. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with the question number one. Are we allowed to watch and read the popular movies of the day? For example, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones. Should we let our children or us indulge in these shows? Are we not allowed to have fun and uh, and watch these things know that they're fantasy and fiction? I'm not. A, I'm not sure. This episode of the podcast is just questions being asked, and we'll tackle them later on in later episodes. So that's question number one. Should we avoid them when uh, friends or family bring it up and tell you that hey, we want to go see a movie tonight, and there's witchcraft and wizardry in it? Is that against God's word to go watch it? I know some churches growing up. I know kids. Especially in Baptist churches and Catholic churches, where that I know personally, weren't even allowed to go to the movies. But I don't know if that's exactly what Jesus intended when he wanted us to live our lives here on earth. I know Jesus lived with publicans and sinners and uh, bad people, but that was Jesus. I don't know if if we're supposed to be around them because you become the sum of your fr- of your group. I'm not sure. That's a very good question. Uh, question number two. Swearing and indulging in conversations in the workplace. Now, in the modern world, Jesus talks only come up in private with your friends or strangers. It's definitely not the primary topic of discussion at work. So some days, the conversations are about football and people are swearing. And I uh, think this is a pretty obvious question that you can have these discussions with these people, but you should not swear you should not anyways we're not answering these questions today we're just asking these questions how do you have these conversations in the workplace when people are talking about things that you know you shouldn't be talking about do you just walk away do you say kindly I'd rather not talk about that and now you have run the risk of becoming ostracized in the workplace Uh, which one is better to do that or not to do that you know we know that we're supposed to seek sight in in the eyes of God not in the eyes of men so I think that's a very important question we should ask ourselves is how do we have these conversations in public at work how do we avoid them without you know what's the right way to do it question number three how often do we bring up Jesus' name day to day outside of the church, outside of the people you know who love him, how often should a regular person bring him up? Should it be constant? Does that work? Does that bring more people to Jesus? I know we're asking a lot of questions here this week on this podcast, but that's that's what I want to do. I just want to get these questions stirring in your brain. So we can answer them later. Hopefully we get feedback. If not, I'll try to answer these questions. I'll rewatch this video and answer myself. I think this is a good way for me to grow in the Lord. And God bless Jesus. Amen. Uh, he does great things in my life. And I'd love him to do great things in yours. So don't worry that we're asking so many questions. We just want to get these out on the table. So we can pretty much have our lesson plan for this podcast. Question number four. How often should we pray? Does the Bible specify it? If so, where does it tell you how often to pray? Is there an exact technique to prayer? If so, what is it? 
How do I pray to God if I don't know how to speak very well? Does he care? How should I dress for church? Should I go to this church if I don't feel comfortable there? Why don't I feel comfortable? Are you sure that's the reason you shouldn't go to church? How do you know if the church is right for you? What things should you look for in a church? Is that even your decision to make? These are great questions. How to find a church? There's a lot of them. What are your beliefs? No, no, no. It's not what your beliefs are. It's Jesus' beliefs. What? I can answer this one. Finding a church is all about which church follows the Bible closest. Practices what the Bible believes. Practices what the Bible preaches. I think that's the most important church qualities in a church. Not what you like or dislike. Because you're a sinner. Amen. Uh, Question number five. Plus the inside questions. I don't know why I'm saying five when I ask ten questions in each question. So, anyways, topic number five. <laughs> How to know when to stand up for Jesus when others are bashing you down for it. And, and honestly, does Jesus need your defense? He doesn't. But how to stand up for what you believe in. Because uh, if you deny him... Because God said, Jesus says, if you deny me in front of thy friends, I'll deny you in front of my father. So that's a good question. Is when do we take our shirts off or hats off that have references of Jesus on it? If someone says and says, can you please take that off? It offends me. Should I take it off? I believe Paul said, if my friend is uncomfortable with me eating meat, I'll stop eating meat for him. To not as to not offend my friend. I think that same. If I'm quoting this verse improperly, please fact check me on it. But if we're gonna go off of this verse, does it imply that the same thing? Just take your shirt off. Just take it off. But we all know that Jesus does not need us to go to bat for him. He went to bat for himself. He went to bat for all of us. So he does not need us to defend him. But. I'm worried about denying him in front of my friends, in front of humans, in front of men. I do not want to be denied in front of Jesus, in front of God. So that's a good question. Is how do we know when to stand up and say, hey, no, I'm going to wear this t-shirt and uh, what consequences are worth risking? How do you know, how do you submit yourself fully to God? How do you do that? How do you do that? I think that's the hardest question for me. How do you do that? Well, I don't know how long I plan these podcasts to go, but I can't think of any more questions off the top of my head because I'm just winging it right now with the you know blessing of the Lord. I've been compelled to just to talk about this kind of stuff, and I felt like I should. Oh, one more. How do you know when to give? And how do you know who to give to? Does it have to be to the church? Or can 10% of the tithings go to strangers and beggars on the street? Or does that not count as a 10%? See, it's not about doing what we think is right. It's about doing what God tells us to do. The Bible is God's word given to us. It's not like I choose this or choose that. It's, It's the word of God. And it's says it in the Bible that it was written through man who are spiritually who are, who are provoked by the Holy Spirit to write these words. So we know that it was Jesus, it was God who wrote the Bible. So we cannot take the words of it lightly. We must understand it and pray to understand it. So I hope you guys enjoy speaking about God and listening to me talk about God and Jesus. I uh, hope to see you guys here later. Leave some comments. Any questions you have about Jesus and how to get closer to him. Help others get closer to him because Jesus is the greatest thing on this planet. Thank you guys for joining so much and uh, may God be with you. I bless you so much. I'll end this excuse me, end this podcast with a prayer. Dear, dear Lord, I pray to you today that this podcast can help touch the hearts of many. 
Hopefully these questions can be answered with the power of the Holy Spirit through prayer. Dear God, I love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.